Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have Newton North High School. <laughs> Next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. This is the place where planets collide where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Today's matchup is the last of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and the competition has been Fierce, and that's a good thing. Uh, today, it's Andover High School, who defeated Foxborough High School, taking on Newton North High School, who defeated South High Community School to move on to these quarterfinals. And on the Andover team, we have Ian, Frank, Neil, and Amkar, with alternates Anurag and Ashwin, and coaches Alan Habino and Krista Habino. <laughs> On the Newton North team, we have Jacob, Rose, Max, and Eli, with alternate Spencer and Martin and coach Gregory Drake. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we're going to start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. This is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, here we go. What is the largest city in the United States by population? Max? New York City. Yes. In 2017, Jeff Deal, co-chair of the Trump campaign in Massachusetts, launched a bid to unseat what senior Massachusetts senator? Yes, Neil? Warren. Elizabeth Warren. Uh, what natural phenomenon in Venezuela is the tallest waterfall in the world, plunging an incredible 3,212 feet? Yes, Ian? Angel Falls. Yes. In 2017, what chart topper by Luis Fonsi, Daddy Yankee, and Justin Bieber set a new record as YouTube's most viewed video of all time? Max. Despacito. Yes, also the most streamed song of all time. Take a look at your screen. So pictured here is the famous Talladega Super Speedway. It is located in what U.S. state? Yes, Eli. Indiana. No, Andover, you want to try it, Neil? Florida. No, Alabama. And uh, what Shakespeare character asks, is this a dagger which I see before me, the handle toward my hand? Max? Macbeth. Yes. Plankton is made up of tiny plants called phytoplankton and tiny animals called what? Yes, Omkar. Zooplankton. Yes. Happy Days Are Here Again is best remembered as the campaign song for what Democratic presidential candidate in 1932? Uh, Neil. FDR. Yes. In the early 1880s, French scholar Jean Champollion managed to decipher what large flat stone? Yes, Neil. Rosetta Stone. Yes. Take a look at your screens. The next question is coming up right now. Hi, I'm Greg Keston, theoretical physicist and host of What the Physics. Here's my question. Gravity acts as what type of inward directed force in maintaining the Earth's near circular orbit around the sun? Yes, Neil. Centripetal? Yes, that is right. Uh, what Texas city, the fourth largest city in America, was devastated by Hurricane Harvey in August of 2017? 
Neil? Houston. Yes. Uh, Jonas Salk developed the first polio vaccine, but who later developed the first oral polio vaccine, still, by the way, widely used today? Did he make it? No. Albert Sabin is the answer. Voltaire and the Marquis de Sade were among the more famous detainees at what Paris prison? Frank. Bastille. Yes. Mexico City is built on top of which of the following natural formations? Is it A, an inactive volcano, B, an ancient lake bed, or C, a mountain? Yes, Neil. B. Yes, an ancient lake bed. Math question. An amazing 90% of the Earth's creatures are insects, and 40% of all insects are beetles. What percentage of the Earth's creatures are beetles? Yes, Omkar. 36. Yes. Lake Michigan is bordered by four states, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and what else? Yes, Neil? Wisconsin. Yes. In 2016, Barack Obama became the first sitting U.S. president to visit what city, the first in the world to be struck by an atomic bomb? Max. Hiroshima. Yes. Britain's new 20-pound note will feature what artist alongside his painting of the HMS Temeraire and his famous quote, light is therefore color. Yes, Frank. Turner. Yes, what king was defeated by Oliver Cromwell in the English Civil War? Frank. Charles I. Yes. What author of the Song of Hiawatha is the only American citizen to be honored with a bust in the Poets' Corner in London's Westminster Abbey? Uh, Frank. Longfellow. Yes. Invented by Blaise Pascal in the early 17th century, the Pascaline was a mechanical version of which of the following? A, robot, B, food processor, C, calculator. Uh, Omkar. Calculator. Yes. Veronica Roth's debut novel, Divergent, is set in the post-apocalyptic future in what American city? Rose. Chicago. Yes, in the late 18th century. Uh, what did Catherine the Great designate as the official language of her court and the Russian aristocracy? Yes, Neil. English. No, Newton North. Yes, Max. French. French is right. Math question. Six more than twice. What number equals 42? Jacob. 18. 18 is right. In 1913, what Danish scientist proposed an atomic model in which electrons move in orbits around the nucleus, much like planets orbit the sun? Yes, Neil. Four. Yes. Who invented commercial baby food in 1927 when she tried straining baby food at home and convinced her husband who owned a local cannery plant to sell it? Yes, Ian. Gerber. Gerber is right. What Greek tragedy by Euripides is about a woman who takes vengeance on her husband by killing his new wife as well as her own children? Yes, Frank. Medea. Yes. Uh, what Japanese general and prime minister during much of World War II was hanged as a war criminal in 1948? Yes, Max. Hirohito. No, you want to try it and over high, Neil? Tojo. Tojo is right. Preservation Hall is a music venue in what U.S. city that is the birthplace of jazz? Yes, Omkar. New Orleans. Yes. When Michael Phelps won eight gold medals in a single Olympics in 2008, he broke the record of what American swimmer who won seven Olympic gold medals in 1972? Yes, Eli. Mark Spitz. Yes. Builder of the great mosque at Timbuktu, Mansa Musa came to power in 1312 as the emperor of what West African country? Yes, Max. Mali. Yes. What U.S. government agency was established in 1933 to control floods, improve navigation, and produce electrical power along the Tennessee River and its tributaries? Yes, Frank. TVA. Yes. What island nation in the Pacific includes the Bikini Atoll, where the U.S. once tested nuclear weapons? Amkar. Marshall Islands. Yes. Uh, the Broadway... There's the bell ending the first round. The score right now, Andover High School, 220 points. Newton North, 90 points. How about it, everybody? <laughs>...about to go into the head-to-head -head round, but of course, I want to start with a question, an icebreaker, if you will. And we're going to start with uh, Andover High School and you, Ian. What would be the theme song for a television show based on your life and why?
I would say the Phineas and Ferb theme song because after a long school year, I look forward to summer vacation. All right, and Frank? I would say Don't Stop Believing because I don't stop believing. All right, and Neil? I'd say Happy by Pharrell Williams because I like to be happy. Oh, uh, how about you, Omkar? I would say Ode to Joy because not only is it about happiness, but it also inspires change and revolutions. All right, now Newton North, Jacob, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna say Hey Ya by Outkast. <laughs> I, I love that song. I love that song. Rose, how about you? Um, Nights by Frank Ocean, because I like the lyrics. Oh, nice track. Max? Green Light by Lord, because it's good. <laughs> All right, and Eli? I'm also gonna say Don't Stop Believing, because my life is a journey. All right, and now we're gonna journey out front, if you don't mind, because it's time to go head to head. So all of you, come down, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, we're about to go head to head. I've got Newton North to my left, Andover High School to my right. Gentlemen, why don't you shake hands? And uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. In his inaugural address, what U.S. President said, the torch has been passed to a new generation. JFK, name the chemical process through which green plants make sugar. Yes. Uh, photosynthesis. Yes. Name the author of the classic children's novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yes. Al Frank Baum. Yes. On what day of the week is Mardi Gras? Yes. Tuesday. Yes. Uh, what South American country is named? Yes. Uh, Brazil. No, Ecuador. With her husband, Ferdinand, what queen helped unify? Isabella. Yes. yes. Uh, what Irish playwright once quipped, I can resist everything except temptation? Yes. Wild. Yes. In 1950, what country forcibly annexed Tibet? Yes. China. Yes. What Major League Baseball jersey number has permanently... Yes. 42. Yes. Which planet in the solar system is farthest from the sun? Yes. Neptune. Yes. Uh, the Getaway is the 12th and the latest book in what best-selling series by Jeff Kinney? Yes. Diary for a Kid. Yes. What war marked the end of the Habsburg Empire? World War I. Yes. In 1831, in Virginia, who led the only effective sustained slave rebellion in U.S.? Yes. Turner. Yes. Who is the president of the U.S. Senate? Yes. Um, McCain. No, Mike Pence, the vice president. Uh, what country has two main cultural groups called Walloons and Flemings? Yes. Um, Belgium. Did he make it? Yes, he made it. And that bell ends. Round two, the score right now. Andover High School, 280 points. Newton North High School, 130 points. That's the way we do it. Next up is the category round with the following categories. Zoo story, in pod we trust. The futurists, city limits, publicity stunts, and it's a 10. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you do buzz in, you will no longer be allowed to confer. We're going to need your answer. Now, Newton North, you have a little ground to make up. You can choose the first category. What's it going to be? City limits. City limits. Here we go. Questions about cities. And for 10 points, there are over 2,000 mosques in what capital city of Syria? Uh, Max. Damascus. Yes, and you've got the board Newton North category. Let's stick with city limits. This time for 15 points. What capital city of Manitoba sounds like a contest for pirates? <laughs> Winnipeg. You've still got the board, though, Newton North category. Let's stick with city limits. For 20 points, uh, what California city was founded in 1776 when colonists from Spain built a military outpost called the Presidio? <laughs> Max. Los Angeles. No, Andover, you want to try it? San Francisco, no, Newton North, you've still got the board, though. Category? Let's stick with city limits. For 25 points, what Italian city is home to many of the world's great masterpieces, including Michelangelo's David and Botticelli's Birth of Venus? 
Yes, I am. Florence. Florence is right. And over, you've got the board. Category. City limits for 30, please. City limits for 30 points. Uh, the Great Schism of 1378 was a split within the Catholic Church. Rival papacies ruled from Rome and what French city? Yes, Max. Avignon. That is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. You need a category. Let's go with the Futurists. The Futurists. Questions about futurists and visionaries. And for 10 points, what leading artist and intellectual of the Italian Renaissance invented designs for a helicopter, a parachute, scuba gear, and a robotic knight? Omkar. Da Vinci. Yes, you've got the board and over category. The futurists. For 15 points, genetic engineering, atomic bombs, lasers, and email are among the many predictions of what author of the sci-fi classic, The Time Machine? Frank. Wells. H.G. Wells is right. You've got the board and over category. It's a 10. It's a 10. For questions about the metric system. For 10 points, a woman has a body mass of 53 kilograms. What is her mass in grams? Neil. 53,000. That is correct. You've still got the board and over. It's a 10. For 15 points. Uh, the metric prefixes deca, hecto, and kilo all stem from what language? Yes, Eli. Greek. Greek is right. Now you've got the board Newton North. Category. Um, it's a 10. For 20 points, which of the following metric prefixes is the largest? Giga, Terra, or Mega? Yes, Ian. Terra. Terra is right. You've got the board and over high. It's a 10. It's a 10 for 25 points. The metric system was invented in 1670 by a cleric in what country? Yes, Max. France. France is right. You've got the board Newton North. Let's stick with it's a 10. For 30 points, a mile is equal to how many kilometers rounded out to the nearest tenth? Yes, Max. 1.8. No, Andover, you want to try it? 1.6. 1.6 is correct. Andover High, you get the board category. The Futurists. This time for 20 points. In a 2013 white paper, Elon Musk proposed what futuristic transport system in which commuters are whisked through a tube at speeds in excess of 700 miles per hour. Yes, Rose. Hyperloop. Yes, and you've got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with the futurists. For 25 points, forms of Bluetooth, headsets, self-driving cars, ATMs, and Facebook-style social interaction were all predicted by what author of the Martian Chronicles? Yes, Frank. Bradbury. Yes, Ray Bradbury. You've got the board, Andover. The futurists. For 30 points in his 2006 book, the singularity is near what American futurist writes about humanity's inevitable merger with the technology it created. Ray Kurzweil is the answer. You've still got the board and over. Category? Zoo story. Zoo story. All answers include the name of an animal for 10 points. It took four years and nearly 400 artists to make what 2008 animated film set in ancient China and starring Jack Black as a martial arts wannabe? Yes, Rose. Kung Fu Panda? Yes, you've got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with Zoo Story. 15 points this time. What mountaintop retreat in the Bavarian Alps was specially built for Hitler's 50th birthday, though he rarely visited due to his fear of heights? Eagle's Nest is the answer, and Newton North, you've still got the board. Let's stick with Zoo Story. For 20 points, it's considered rude to ask about the mechanisms powering an android in what Philip K. Dick novel that inspired the movie Blade Runner? Yes, Jacob. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Yes, and you've got the board category. Let's stick with Zoo Story. For 25 points, in 2017, cartoonist Matt Fury killed off what fictional frog that had been appropriated by white supremacists and branded a hate symbol? Yes, Frank. Pepe. That is correct. You get the board and over high. Zoo Story. Zoo Story, 30 points this time. Winner of the 1972 Newbery Medal, what children's book tells the story of a widowed field mouse who enlists former lab rats to help save her home? Yes, Omkar. Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Yes, that is correct. And, uh, and over high, you'll need a category. Publicity stunts. Okay, questions about legendary publicity stunts. And for 10 points, in 1901, a 63-year-old school teacher named Annie Edson Taylor became the first person to ride in a barrel over what famous waterfall? Yes, Ian. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is right. Andover, you've got the board. In pod we trust, please. 
questions about podcasts and for 10 points. More than 100 podcasts, including Maester Monthly and Radio Westeros. Follow what TV series that is the most popular show on the planet? Yes, Max. Game of Thrones. That is correct. Newton North, you've got the board. Let's stick with um, Impod We Trust. This time for 15 points. Told over multiple episodes, what story of the murder of a young woman in Baltimore and the questionable conviction of her ex-boyfriend is one of the most popular podcasts ever? Yes, Max. Serial. Serial is right. You've got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with Impod We Trust. This time for 20 points. On the podcast, the worst idea of all time. New Zealanders Guy Montgomery and Tim Batt watch Grown Ups 2 every week for a year. The film stars what comedian who also wrote the screenplay? Yes, Jacob. Adam Sandler. That is correct. Newton North, you still have the board. Let's stick with Impod We Trust. 25 points. The 538 Politics podcast is run by what statistician who correctly predicted the outcomes in 49 out of 50 states in the 2008 U.S. presidential election? Yes, Max. Nate Silver. Nate Silver is right. You've got the board, Newton North. Let's stick with him, Poppy Trust. 30 points. Stuff You Missed in History Class features a two-part episode about what radical temperance leader famous for smashing up bars with a hatchet? Carry Nation, the answer there. You've still got the board, Newton North. We only have the one category, publicity stunts, for 15 points. What was American sculptor Gutzon Borglum hired to create in 1923 as a way to promote tourism in South Dakota? Yes, Ian. Mount Rushmore. Yes. Publicity stunts for 20 points in 1973 and a publicity stunt that proved to be a pivotal moment in women's sports. Billie Jean King took on what former tennis champ who boasted he could beat any woman? Yes, Rose. Riggs. Bobby Riggs is right. Publicity stunts. For 25 points, the Olympic torch cross-country relay was invented by the Nazis as a way to link the ancient Greeks with the Aryan race. It began with the Berlin Olympics in what year? Yes, Eli. 1932. No, and over, you want to try? Neil. 1936. Yes, and publicity stunts. For 30 points, the Scopes Monkey Trial of 1925 was a publicity stunt conceived by local leaders to bring national attention and money to what small town in Tennessee? Dayton is the right answer there. And wow, that ends the category round of the score. Andover High School, 520 points. Newton North High School, 275 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. It is the lightning round. It moves very fast. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. Teams, the clock is set. If you guys are ready, good luck. What was the first name of the British king who lost the American colonies? Neil. George. Yes, Pokemon Go uses a technology called AR. Jacob. Augmented reality. Yes, what famous bear was created by British author Michael Bond? Paddington. Yes. Uh, who is the current Attorney General of Massachusetts? Frank. Um, Healy. Yes. Dakar is the capital city of what country? Yes. Senegal. Yes. In 2017, who was sworn in as Supreme Court Justice to fill the seat held? Neil yes. Gorsuch. Yes. Uh, what North American city has an NHL team called the Canucks? Yes, Neil. Vancouver. Yes. Henry Hudson claimed the Hudson Bay for England and the Hudson River for what rival country? Yes, Max. Sweden. No, the Netherlands. What city is the smallest New England state capital by population? Yes, I am. Providence. No, Montpelier. Also known as the Archer, what constellation is usually depicted as yes, Omkar? Orion. No, Sagittarius. Uh, the Spanish-American War was fought during what year? Yes, Frank? 1896. No, 1898. A national mood called the Era of Good Feeling is associated, Frank? Monroe. Yes. Uh, what John Steinbeck novel is about a poor family of, yes? Grapes of Wrath. Yes. What iron-containing protein that transports oxygen? Yes, Neil. Hemoglobin. Yes. Launched on January 31st, 1958. What was the name of the first? Yes, Eli. Botany. No, Explorer. Uh, what synonym for Colossus? Oh. Did he get in? Yeah. Who buzzed in there? 
Jacob, answer? Big. <laughs> no, Goliath. <laughs> The winner this week, Andover High School, with a total of 580 points. The runner-up, Newton North High School, great job, 295 points. Yes! So congratulations to both teams. That was a great round. Now, Andover High School is going to move on to play in the semifinals. So be sure you're tuned in, and we'll see everybody and that includes you at home right back here next week for a high school quiz show. Thank you, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Museum of Science. Production of WGBH.